Hello everyone, Genesis Rider here with another Genesis gameplay video. In this video, it's not necessarily going to be a tips and tricks video, but I'm going to share um, a few more details into various things. Originally, this video was recorded um, live, but I forgot to start my voice recording. Um, as this part it doesn't end up being very good, um, I can show you on my screen, uh, we're facing Magic Frags, Nova Eye, and Bertacular. Um, they are both very, very high-ranking players, and we're playing them in the new playlist in Halo 4 multi-team. It's four teams of three. Very, very fun, and I have my teammates uh, Logic and Voxel. Very, very good players. Um, now, right here, I'd like to point out that this player who got an early shot on me almost out the yard him, but uh, that Nova Eye is number 39 in Halo Tracker. And so just to give you an idea how intense this game was. However, I want to pause right here, give you a few tips on what we're going to be doing, and then I'll move into a few other topics. Um, we win this game solely by the team, the kills that Red Team gives us. Not because they're complete noobs, no, but because we know how to work this side of the map. Notice how we're on here, and then our teammate is up here. Um, we just sweep left to right, uh, left here, then back, then forth, because... Once we kill them all off here, they spawn somewhere over here, and back and forth, and back and forth, and you'll see that throughout the gameplay. There's really no need to mess with the other areas of the map, and um, you'll see that in this gameplay. And I just wanted to show you that's our general strategy because of the spawn points. They're really screwed up on this map, and if you don't realize that, um, multi-team games can get away from you very quickly, as you can chase down a lot of kills over there in the back of the map that really don't matter. Uh, this is where people spawn. And people are, since people are constantly dying in multi-team, this is really where all the action is and uh, where you get the most kills. You know, green team's not a pushover. We, uh, I mean, there are three kills ahead of us right now, now only two kills. But we end up really doing well. Uh, that's an example of the enemy red player. That's why you never use the assault rifle. Um, this is probably one of my best uses of bubble shields right here. Um, and I wanted to point something out in this little um, thing of gameplay, uh, just so you guys can see here, right here. Um, when I lay down this bubble shield, I want you to notice how my shield immediately starts to regenerate, okay? But as soon as I leave the bubble shield, notice how my shield shoots up even f even faster than normal. That is simply because I'm using the shielding armor mod. What the shielding armor mod does in conjunction with the bubble shield is once your shield has started regenerating using the bubble shield, you have to step outside of the bubble shield for the extra speed of the recharge to kick in, basically. And so that's what you see me manipulate here as my shield uh, rebound quite quickly right there at the very top of the screen. And notice how when I step back into the bubble shield, how they slow back down again. So in other words, the bubble shield, when you're using this uh, sort of loadout, again, shielding armor mod paired with the bubble shield armor ability, when you're using this sort of loadout, um, you really want to leave your bubble shield as fast as possible because your shield regenerates faster. The bubble shield is only a starting point for which to start your shield regenerating more quickly. Uh, here, I just jump out and start attacking again. You don't really use this uh, loadout very much at all. Again, I just created it for multi-team. Um, that tonight, um, I'm actually recording this tonight that this game took place, it's actually 1 o'clock in the morning right now. Um, our team went uh, at least 15, 16 games I'd say, um, losing only one game, and uh, th that was, game was really, really laggy, but uh, this game right here was very intense, very um, good overall, and I just wanted to share it with you guys. Um, one of the things I wanted to mention off-topic sort of in this video to let you guys be aware, um, and then for those of you who don't know, I posted a poll on one of my more recent videos asking what what out of three videos would you guys like me to create next? And surprisingly, the thruster pack tutorial, where I teach you guys how to use the thruster pack, that video won out heads over tails over all the other videos. Um, I'll have to tally the votes to see exactly, but it was fairly obvious that that video won. And then the funny montage, and then you guys were okay with the, uh, my, do, me doing my second montage. If you want to see my first Halo 4 montage, you can look in the top right hand corner, and I'll put an annotation right here. So you guys can see that, also at the end of the video. Um, very chill, very laid back. I, if you haven't watched it yet, and you've been watching my channel, 
Uh, it's the, literally the video I send people to go watch first on my channel. I spent a really long time doing it, and it's very laid back. Uh, good gameplay, good music, etc. So enjoy. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is that I actually started working on the funny montage before I started working on the Thrust Attack tutorial video. So, again, this is before I started the poll, and I want to apologize for that, simply because I will now have to either finish the funny montage and upload it after I complete the Thrust Attack video, um, which I'll probably end up doing, it's not really a big deal, but um, all that to say that these videos are take a really long time to make, and at least to make them well. Um, even this video that you're watching right now, um, I've actually recorded three different times. I've watched this film now four times, and commented over it three different times. Um, professionally, that's called, I, I had three different takes of the video. That's what you call it. And um, it takes a long time to really narrow down what you want to say, and get the commentary really um, level and smooth of the gameplay. Not off topic, I guess is the best way to put it. Uh, in my first take of this video, if I went really off topic with something completely random, that when I listened to it again, it really wasn't worth hearing. So hopefully these insights into the game and uh, various things, and realize we are only uh, four kills ahead of the green team right now. Um, Hopefully that gives you a, a little appreciation to what I'm working on right now. The thrust pack video will come in due time. I really want to teach you guys how to use the thrust pack better, and I felt like this video was kind of cool because it used the bubble shield and it was a little different. Uh, this is where Nova I, the guy who's starting on Halo Dryer, gets absolutely embarrassed. Uh, that's really good teamwork, uh, melting his entire overshield as we again pick up my 15th assist in this game. game I went 15 victory. and 8, so excited. I was shooting bodies and everything. Went 15 and 8, 15 kills, 8 deaths, 15 assists, comparatively high to my teammates who Voxel got 3 assists, Logic got 4 assists. Um, green team went very, very positive, but they really weren't able to keep up with our strategy. Um, and guys, I hope you enjoyed the film. Um, hope you look forward to the Fresh to Pack video and the funny montage I'm creating. I really enjoy making these videos and hope you guys um, enjoy watching them. So I'll see you on, you know, my next capture or whatever I end up recording. Peace, guys. Hey, guys. I just wanted to save this little snippet for you guys at the end. Um, that same night that we played the game that you just saw, um, we got matched up against Nova Eyes Party again. And um, they quit out as soon as it was obvious that we voted and were going to play on Abandoned SWAT. And he immediately quit out. Um, the reason I find this ironic is not just because he is uh, in the top 50 players on HaloTracker.com, which is insanely amazing stats-wise, but it's not, um, it's really, uh, you look really silly and completely um, incompetent, especially in Halo 4 because it's so easy to back out. Um, when you have so high stats, to back out against someone who you very well may be able to beat. Um, he had three, he had two very good teammates and multi-team. He could have beaten us, uh, but he quit out. Um, one of the reasons I find this, the second reason I find this highly ironic is because after the first game that we beat him, he literally screamed at us profuse language in the lobby. Um, I didn't include that. It's just, it's really not necessary to hear. I didn't want to make you sit, th sit through that. Um, it's just a bunch of crud. And um, uh, he commented on how during the entire game we never really uh, um, we're fighting them, and that is absolutely correct. But neither were they fighting us. There were two or three times I ran up against them, and two, twice I died, and once I embarrassed him when he had the overshield at the more towards the end of the film when I had the saw, and we really ganged up on him. Probably that's what got him mad. But um, you just look immature and really um, incompetent when you do things like that. Um, uh, he invited us to a 3v3 afterwards. We ignored him. Um, because we don't care, we just raped you, and then um, he quits out the very next game we play in matchmaking. And obviously that's the kind of player he is, so so be it. There's not much we can do about it. Um, and I could go into a lot of detail on that, but I just want to add that little uh, sort of snippet to spice things up at the end here so you understand 
these people who are highly ranked on the leaderboards, some of them do pl still play like uh, immature kids. And it's kind of sad, but that's just how it is. Just giving you a little insight. Um, these people who are really high up on the leaderboards are not all gods. Um, you should really take that to heart. Um, and this is the actual end of the video. Thank you for watching.